All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot of products to go through today, so I'm gonna do a massive product review. One of these is a ketone ester, which I've been blessed with the opportunity to try, so we'll see how that goes. Let's just dig into this box here. The first one I've got for you, Kigenix brand. They sent me uh, two things. They sent me the Kigenix Prime and the Keto Meal. Um, so, these come in little single serve packets. You add this to your pre-workout mix. You know, consume 30 to 40 minutes before working out. Not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of the way this stuff tastes. I kind of feel like it tastes like battery acid, but uh, it's a little harsh. It's not too bad. Like I, I'm more focused on performance and taste anyway, so I can choke down anything and not really even think about the taste. Crystal thinks it tastes fine, so I guess it's more of a preference, individual preference thing than anything. Um, and I did notice an increase in ketones. I measured yesterday at 2.1 and then had one of these and then an hour later I was at 3.8. So a pretty noticeable increase in ketone levels. Um, one of the, the uh, benefits of this particular exogenous ketone is that it does have the MCT um, powder in there so it does have a fat based uh, you know, add on as well. Plus it's got the um, uh, you know, branched amino acid. So it's just a really good combination of all the things you need. Exogenous ketones, branched chain amino acids, MCT powder. Um, it's got about 160 calories, and uh, let's see here. It's got seven grams of carbs. I'm not a huge fan of the carbs. Most of it is sugar alcohol at four grams. It's got two grams of sugar. So I generally try and steer clear of any source of carbohydrates. Granted, the exogenous ketones you have are gonna boost your ketone levels independent of that small amount of carbs. So it's not really a negative thing, but I just, I like to see carb levels super low. Um, so that is this. The other product they sent me, the Keto Meal, it's kind of more of a meal replacement product. Um, zoom these in. So this is the Prime. And this is the Meal. And I do really like the way this stuff tastes. It's uh, two scoops. Is 160 calories, 10 grams of fat, uh, 9 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. So again, a little higher on the carbs. I only do one scoop at a time often, and uh, I'll just make like a pancake or a mug cake with it. Um, so I'm, I'm using this kind of like, I'll add an egg, I'll add a scoop of this, maybe some almond butter, mix it up, stick it in the microwave, and boom, I got a mug cake that tastes really good. It's like a really, uh, it, it tastes similar to, um, I don't know what I'd compare it to. Like a brownie batter mix or something. So pretty good stuff. Really pleased with the way this tastes. So that is the Kigenix products. I had uh, the company Super Body Breakthrough send me two different things. They sent me the Wake Shake and they sent me Brain Brew. Um, this is also like a meal replacement shake. I had this the other day with cashew milk and uh, just a scoop of this. Very, very tasty. I haven't tried cooking like a mug cake or a pancake with it yet, but I can tell the consistency would be really good for something like that. One scoop has got 161 calories, nine fats, nine carbs, and 11 protein. And it has also got your uh, branched in amino acids in it, which is a plus. It's got the it's got grass-fed powdered butter, um, bovine collagen, so grass-fed beef collagen basically, um, stevia for the sweetener. So super tasty, big fan of this stuff. And then the brain brew, this is probably my favorite one they sent me. What I really like about this is that they come in little individual single serve packets. And this is just straight caprylic acid. So you've got your, your coconut oil, then you refine that further and you've got your MCT oil, and you refine that further and you've got your C8 caprylic acid, which is basically used entirely by the body as an energy fuel source and not converted into adipose tissue or body fat. So this has got 130 calories, uh, 15 grams of fat per serving. I'll add this to my coffee, it's tasteless. Um, so it's a really good way to get a really high dose of 
uh, energy producing fat. So big fan of this stuff and I really do like that it's in single serve packets. Um, by the way, Super Body Breakthrough was kind enough to hook me up with a discount code. You can go to their website, superbodybreakthrough.com and use SAV10. So it's like Savage without the edge. So SAV10 for 10% off. So thank y'all for that. Um, all right, grand finale time here. I got uh, some ketone esters here. And ketone esters are like the most potent of all the exogenous ketone products. They're not really readily available in the market yet because they're expensive to produce and they taste disgusting, quite honestly. Um, so I've got two of these. I've got a 60 gram serving and a 30 gram serving. I talked to the guy that hooked me up with this and his name's Frank, by the way, super cool, nice guy. Um, but it's Ketone Aid is the company. And I was talking to him and he's like, the, the most, I'm, I'm kind of following it against protocol. Ideally, according to him, what you want to do is have a huge bolus of carbs and have this like 20 minutes after the carbs and then go to the gym. Um, and he'll have to correct me if I'm wrong on this, but basically the tests that have been done have shown that if you have a huge bolus of carbs and you know drink 60 grams of this, you're gonna get a lot more power output and energy output in the gym. Since I haven't had carbs in like three years, I was really hesitant to you know, in, in introduce the carbs, so I said, well, what, what can I do without doing that? And he's like, well, I'm gonna give you 30 grams to try without any carbs, and we can see how that goes. And then he gave me a 60 gram dose, which I'm gonna try for the gym. So today's my off day. I'm gonna have the 30 grams and see how it affects my cognitive, um, you know, mental clarity aspects. I've got a lot of client work to do. I've got a lot of updates, a lot of a lot of client work to do. So I'm gonna be plugged into the computer nonstop all day long, and I'm curious to see if this increases my focus and uh, mental clarity. And he's told me this stuff tastes nasty. So when the owner of the company is telling you it tastes gross, it's probably gonna taste pretty gross. Um, he called it uh, burnt tire tequila is what he, he branded it as. So I've got his directions written down. You're supposed to chill, chug, and chase. So I've got this thing chilled. I've got my sparkling Dasani water raspberry lemonade flavor to chase with. And this stuff honestly is not very good. Do a quick little product review on Dasani. Don't get that flavor. Um, and then he wants me to take a video of me drinking it because uh, it's gonna be that bad. So, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and test my ketone levels. So bear with me here. This is gonna be kind of a slightly longer video, I apologize, but I wanna give y'all as much detail as possible. So, I'm probably gonna have pretty low levels, honestly. I had like two pounds of brisket last night, and that tends to uh, decrease my levels a little bit. Uh, all right, so I'm bleeding. Got the 10 second countdown here. But I want to test my levels pre and then test again. He said testing again in about 15, 20 minutes. So that's what we'll do. So right now I'm 0.7. So super low on the ketones. Not too worried about it though. Um, all probably can be attributed to that huge bolus of barbecue last night or every bite by the way um so let's taste this here uh no claims just results drink one serving do not consume more than one serving per day chill chug and chase 30 grams i don't know if i'm supposed to shake this or anything i don't think so so we'll just uh go with it and he said to have this water readily available like within arm's reach by my mouth so here we go it's got a little another safety seal and you got two safety seals on something doesn't smell bad all right <clears throat> Woo! a little nervous here <clears throat> all right Ugh. I 
It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Actually, not too bad. I, uh, I've heard horror stories of this stuff, but I, I could do that. I could do that on a regular basis. So, <clears throat> tastes kind of like burnt tires for sure, but who doesn't enjoy a good burnt tire every now and again, right? So, we're going to test ketone levels again. It is currently 10.25 in the morning, so I'll test again in about 15-20 minutes, and we'll see what has happened. I'll catch y'all in a little bit. All right, ladies and gents, back at you here. It's been about 20 minutes since the uh, ingestion of the ketone ester. About to test again. And he recommended that I go for a little walk to kind of get the blood flowing uh, to get it soaked up into my system. So I walk down the end of the street and back. And test my ketone levels here. That has begun. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It was 0.7. 2.8. 2.8. So from 0.7 to 2.8, that's a pretty big jump in 20 minutes. I cannot complain with that at all. And I haven't really plugged into the computer yet, so I'm gonna kind of test my cognitive improvement based off of you know how how I'm able to focus and just dig into these client, you know, consultations and programs. <clears throat> but I feel pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And it's hard to tell, you know, how much is placebo and how much is legitimate feeling. But I woke up kinda tired this morning. I was actually kinda tired when I started recording. And I'm not tired now at all. I feel focused, I feel ready to get, get to work. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And just, um, I pulled up his Twitter, which is where I found uh, this guy in the first place. So I, I pulled up Ketone AD, Ketone AIDS Twitter. That's where we've been communicating. And uh, these things are not uh, available yet to the general public. He sent me some samples. And again, this is only a 30 gram dose, so half a dose. It says 200 bucks per bottle, which is crazy. So this is officially the most expensive drink I've ever had in my entire life. Um, not too bad at all. So, about to do some work, jam in on this. I've got the other 60 gram serving, the full serving. I'm probably gonna have that tomorrow when I train legs. I'll take that and then train legs immediately afterwards. So, very curious to see how it affects training. And then on that video, I'll let you know how it's impacted my uh, cognitive enhancement today. So. Thank you for the time. I know this has been a pretty long review, but I wanted to cover this information, some good info here, so I think it's been good. Hopefully y'all have enjoyed it. Hopefully it's been beneficial to you. Um, yeah, we'll see if I can knock out all these, all these client consultations and get some work done. So we'll see how it goes. Catch y'all later.